Normally, Ricky, when somebody wins $25,000, they're ecstatic, they're fired up. You were fired up, but I think it was on the opposite spectrum of being happy there. Just go over those sequences there of you and JD battling out, the yellow coming out. It was kind of a lot of, it was chaos out there for a little bit. Yeah, no, it was for sure. I, uh, I was just kind of riding behind Ordorf there, just saved my stuff. And uh, Marler got to the outside of me and kind of kind of chopped my right front. And so we got together and naturally you go up the racetrack. So I'm sure, I'm sure he was mad because I went up the racetrack, but I mean, Fuck, he, he ran me over under yellow, so did JD. So I wasn't quite sure whether they realistically were still racing after that. Uh, just what happened to it with me and HUD last year at Deer Creek, I, I was DQ'd on the spot before I even got off the racetrack. So um, I don't know, something don't happen on that. I don't know if we really even want to come back. So um, I don't know. I, after that, uh, JD, Ed, we're just we're racing hard. I, uh, I got a, a run off the top. Whenever he got to the lead and he kind of chopped my nose getting into three and then he was mad at me because I ran into him. Like, like I don't know if he wanted me to expect to just stop whenever my front wheel's in the air or what. And then uh, after that, I just started hell mirroring the top and I got a good runoff too and just crossed him. And, and I'm sure he didn't know I was there, but hell, my right front hit his left front. So it's it's not like I ran into his left rear and spun him out or something. Uh, so it is what it is. He's mad, but oh well. What are like the written or unwritten rules of like a track's that tight? You uh, property's a premium when you're going into the turns. Like, what are the rules there? Like, hey, I think I can make it, or do you even think about that? Because you know, if you do make that move, you hit somebody. Maybe you could get one back down the line. So, how, how's it all play out for a driver, at least in your mind, with the rules of what, when a track's that tight? Well, I mean, you definitely have unwritten rules, but guys race you certain ways year after year. So, I uh, had it been someone else, I probably would have lifted. But like, had it been Madden. If I would have ran second, wouldn't have even tried it. So he uh, he's he's dirtied me a bunch last year, and I'm I'm sure he feels the same way. So I was I was gonna take every itch that he gave me, and I did. Okay, so I kind of called you out in the interview the other day, saying how you've been under the radar a little bit. I mean, maybe just the media. Me and Rigsby are the ones saying it, but to get that win this early in speed weeks, once again, just like you did last year, you know, you feeling pretty good going into Ocala. Yeah, no, it uh, it's one of my favorite racetracks out here. So between there and Alltech, I feel like. I feel like we should have good enough car to win every night. So, which I mean, I, I felt like out here we we weren't we weren't the best, but we were really good. So, and uh, it really, this isn't my kind of kind of forte racetrack. It's red dirt, kind of big. So, I don't know. We just we're good to finally get a win. Uh, I mean, it feels like it's been forever. It's only the third race. So, um, our team's got really good uh, speed. We got high goals, and hopefully, we can just keep it going. JD, just a uh, chaotic chaotic last few laps or those laps there with Ricky Thornton Jr. From your vantage point you were obviously upset and the yellow there kind of revved up the engine a little bit just on your vantage point during that movie made just your overall thoughts on that whole thing. His overall thoughts I feel like I got run over I, I, I inherited the lead it was his bad luck you know the other cars got together he made a mistake Mikey got under him and then I, I passed them both clean I thought and then he run up under the back Ricky did uh, getting in three and about spun me out and then uh, from that vantage point you know, I just I just rode and uh, was trying to save my tires, and um, then obviously he got a run on the outside and just cleaned me out getting in. I mean, we we all knew what we had with the racetrack, and then um, so that happened. Man got by me, and we raced back, and um, uh, McCready or somebody was having a flat, and I felt like we all come off the corner, and Madden passed him, and I I passed him also. Um, but it's just a discrepancy of where they call the caution to where the yellow light comes on uh, to where they, they hit the button on a transponder. Who knows? They, they can make that anytime they want to. So um, if we go back to lap four, I thought I maybe should be leading. I'm not really sure. I'll have to go back and watch the video. But, um, you know, everything happens so fast. But it just uh, is what it is. I hate it for my guys. You know, we uh, just kind of sit there and rode and, and luck went our way and then we just got run over. So anyway, that's the way it goes. We'll, uh, we'll fix it and uh, go to the next one. When the track's tight like that, what are like the unwritten rules as a driver? Like when you can go in hard, uh, when do you let off the gas? Because I mean, obviously every driver's different. But what would you think like unwritten rules would be for that situation? Well, I mean, just who knows what unwritten rules are, man? Just um, people that race clean and, and race professionally don't run over people in the rubber. I mean, just you. you we, we all knew what we had with the racetrack. We, we just kind of took it for granted. Now, if you get a run, roll somebody on the outside and pinch them off, whatever, but just blatantly go in there and just take somebody's whole left side off, uh, bad enough to where he fall back a couple of positions, you know, that's kind of shitty deal. But this is what it is. We know how, how they're going to race. And so uh, I've been around a long time. I know how to do it too.